Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. We're going to take a look at programming our Ferrofocus S150 or S350 prior to go out in the field. Uh, we're going to start off by giving the project name uh, inside of the, the scanner, which we can go into. There's a couple ways to do it. We're going to go into Manage, Project Clusters. This is just the general default screen. And we're going to add a project name. So we're going to go ahead and add going to click on it and give the cluster name all right and we can add a customer if we'd like all right now the next step is going to be what type of project are we doing? Are we indoors? Are we outdoors? Those are the two main questions we're going to have. So if we are going to scan outdoors, go back into manage. As I said, there's a couple ways to do this. We're going to go through the manage button. We'll go to profiles. As you can see, there's quite a number of profiles generally uh, part of the scanner's default process. Uh, here at Atlantic Laser Scanning, we do offer, we pre-program our scanners before going out. And as you can see, we've got an Atlantic Laser Scanning Services outdoor and indoor. So if we are doing an outdoor scan, we'll go ahead and open that up. Take a look at this. Now the resolution and quality, that's the one thing that you need to be concerned with. Our resolution for our outdoor scanning is standard at one quarter, which is 44, just under 44 million points. And the quality is 3X. Uh, now, you may ask the differences between the different qualities. What this over here, the quality is defined as, is the number of actual times that that laser is going to touch the same point. So generally, three to four is going to be adequate. Now, the resolution, that's going to be the number of points that are fired out during the scan. So when you are scanning something far away, if you're going to have this set on an outdoor scan setting, you're just simply going to be firing more points, uh, and therefore the points will remain closer together the further they get from the scanner. Uh, an indoor scan, say, uh, would be one-eighth, and you can see that's just under 11 million points right here. The reason that that would be 11 million would be because the scanner is indoors and maybe a standard room setting. Uh, the walls are going to be much closer. There's no need to fire that many points because uh, within that 10 or 15 uh, foot range, uh, they're going to still be two, three, four millimeters apart from each other. So we'll keep that on one quarter. Now another difference between the indoor and outdoor settings is going to be the time per scan. Uh, the time per scan for a outdoor scan setting is generally going to be six, seven, eight minutes depending on what the uh, lighting situation is. Indoor about half of that.